Hey guys, it is currently Monday. It's 3.41 right now. Um, we're going to show the date that Monday. <laughs> it's Monday, August 19th. Um, and I right now am eating. I just had a thing, of, a whole thing of California rolls. And now I'm just eating on shumai. I ordered two orders of the fried shumai. So I have one here. And my other one here. Um, this is the beginning of a nesting vlog. It's probably going to be a week long of nesting. Because I need to really get into gear with getting my room together before baby girl gets here. Um. Ooh. Sorry guys. My fiance's mom was texting me, so I was looking at her message. Um, but yeah, I had a lot to do, like a lot planned on my list today. But I keep forgetting that I can't do too much, um, which sucks because my last pregnancy, I was able to still like do things, clean up, move things around. Baby girl, not feeling it this time around. So the way she is positioned on my spine for some reason. It's causing my back to burn. And when my back burns, I get dizzy. This happened one time where it scared my both my fiance and I because we actually had walked from his house to the shopping area, which is really like a 10, 15 minute walk. Um, and so we had a 10, 15 minute walk and then coming back for some reason was harder on my body. Um, and we were like halfway at his house, but my back, I felt it burning and it usually burns like at the lower part of my back and then that sensation literally makes my whole body warm and then it goes up my back and then I get dizzy and it was so bad that I thought I was going to pass out that I literally sat on the ground for a good five to ten minutes and he didn't know what to do I didn't know what to do because that was the first time I ever felt like that um and so since then if I'm walking or standing for too long my lower back burns which then causes me <laughs> to get dizzy but if I sit too long my back burned so i have to alternate between getting up sitting down which sucks because i wanted to clean her bottles today i have a good amount of bottles for her i wanted to wash those sanitize those sanitize her pacifiers um and then try to sanitize i'll probably sanitize my pump parts tomorrow i have two pumps here that i'm going to be using um and then i'm going to be taking the three that's in the kitchen to his house because i have a third one coming from my actual insurance company um, so I got two pumps, a wearable and a handheld pump from my insurance. My insurance also sends Medela pumps out. So um, we have that. And then what else? I wanted to, I have to sort the laundry because I got to do her laundry tomorrow. So I have her clothes organized by like zero, a newborn to three months, three to six months. And then I have like a bin with like all her socks and her bibs and her hats and her um, towels and stuff. But then I also have these bags, one bag here, one bag here, and a bag underneath there, um, and one more bag in the living room with all the stuff that she recently got from like the baby shower and things that have been coming in. And so I need to do that. But then I realized I can't, you know, I gotta still organize and sort by darks and lights. And honestly, I'm not. I don't usually sort my clothes by darks and light. I just do colored and then white. <laughs> and so I have to do that. I do have laundry bags that I bought to put like all her hats in one or her bows in one or her, well not her hats, or her socks and mittens will go in one or her bows will go in another. Um, and so I, I have a lot to do. I need to clean this corner over here because this corner is really not messy. I just haven't organized it and a lot of that stuff goes in my closet but I'm too lazy to go in the closet. And then I also have to remove everything on the back of my door because I'm getting a door organizer for her to put um so i can have outfits already laid out kind of sort of something like that I, i'm not really sure how i'm going to organize it because it's a six tier organizer but i also have a four tier cart coming as well that'll just be like her bedside cart because i'm going to have my breast pump stuff on there um and some like pampers and wipes and stuff that it's easy for me to have at night because she has a bedside bassinet um and so i wanted to try to get a lot of stuff done but I couldn't um so I rested I'm eating now and I'm just gonna sort the laundry out and get that corner over there fixed um and then keep in mind school starts soon for my son so gotta do that too so 
and in two weeks I'll be full time. So if I don't do everything now, I'm not gonna be able to do it when I get home because I'm having a section. Um and so I'll be down for like six weeks. <laughs> so it kind of sucks because I can't do everything I need to do or I don't want to do. That one is finished. And I got this one left and I think I want to eat it, but I kind of want to save it. So we're trying to figure out how I'm going to do all this stuff. It's getting dark, so it might actually rain. I know for a fact today I, I got to start mopping my floors. For sure. And then tomorrow I'm going to be moving some furniture around. And so, it's a lot. It's a lot on me, a lot on my back. And it's worrying my fiance because my back, like that day literally scared the both of us. And so, even today, when I was cleaning around, I felt it coming on. But I got to, I guess I didn't catch it in enough time. By the time I laid down, I still was completely dizzy and nauseous. And so, I laid down for probably like an hour and ordered my food. And so, I'm trying to be mindful. But at the same time, everything has to get done. Like, no one else is going to do it. And then, unfortunately, this week, not unfortunately because it's a blessing, is my church's anniversary from Wednesday to Sunday. The only day off, I think, is Saturday. <laughs> and so, really, I'll be home by myself <laughs> starting Wednesday until Sunday. So, I don't have that much time to be doing anything. And then I do have a doctor's appointment on Thursday. And so, I did get some of the desks basically done. Um, I organize everything. These Bibles are out because I still have to do the reviews on them. That's just uh, baby girl's book paperwork, base paperwork, uh, marriage licenses in one of those folders, stuff like that. Um, and this side is clear pretty much. I just have to, this top area is literally all my stuff from like class and school. But it's really just this area. That Primark bag got a bunch of clothes for my son that I need to put up. All of this stuff on top is clothes that has to go in the dresser for him and then it's like part of me wants to just buy another dresser like i feel like it would just be beneficial to get another dresser right because it would just make sense and then i could use the bins to put the stuff in a closet inside and then store things properly in my closet because pretty much in my closet i have a bunch of sneakers and shoes in there Probably don't, I'm probably not even gonna wear most of them anymore, so I need to get rid of those. But everything is just like on the floor. Nothing is like stacked. It's not, nothing is organized in my closet, so I don't barely go in my closet unless I need a dress, and I haven't been wearing them because obviously. But and so there's a lot to do, little time. But I'm starting this nesting vlog. So sorry for my appearance. I did fix my hair because my hair was looking crazy earlier. Um, you saw a snippet of my room what it looked like prior to, <laughs> and so we're just trying to get life together. I cannot wear my silicone ring. I put it away with the other rings that are in my drawer because I can't wear any of them. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do because we'll be married within the next three or four weeks. Um, and I can't wear any of my rings. Not even the silicone. And so I am <laughs> not sure what I'm going to do. Um, and I don't want to buy a size five. I just, I don't want to waste my time. And so I am going to take the rings with us so that my ring can be prayed over when I do wear it because I can't wear it till baby girl gets out of me because my hands swell every night every morning they're swelling on top of my feet but my hands have been swelling the worst so I'm gonna stop rambling and when I get ready to organize over there in that corner I'll let you guys know so I'm gonna relax a little bit more because I am still slightly dizzy the food did help um but I'm just gonna let the air hit me relax um I literally just took out this little on my bob here what is it called the i don't even know what it's called but it goes on the on sh like sharpen carts i have two of these so for some odd reason we ended up with two um one was purchased by one of the evangelists from my church and we got one gifted to us at the baby shower and so i have one for here and one for at his house which is great because i don't have that means i don't have to keep it in her diaper bag and so i'm probably gonna keep the instructions Oh, so it could go on shopping carts and it can go on high chairs. 
There's a bottle strap that comes with it and a safety belt. I was wondering what that thing was. So. Cool, cool, cool. So I have that. Um, I have it out because I'm, like I said, I'm doing laundry and I'm washing everything. Um, so from this to, she has two loungers. One lounger is going in her bed um, and one is going to stay just out to have like she's on our, on our bed um, or whatever the case may be. Um, I have bassinet sheets I took out of the packaging already. So I literally just have to take these clothes out of the bin, these three bins out and then take the stuff and the bottles out of that stuff so that that can be washed. I have the dapple baby bottle soap thing um, to wash. And then I'm not buying a bottle sanitizer. I mean, if it's gifted, it's gifted, but I'm not going to waste money on it. I am just going to do it the old-fashioned way, boil some hot water, set it in there for five to seven minutes, maybe ten minutes, let it air dry. Um, so, that's the plan. She has a carrier already. I don't really like that carrier, though. But I want to get a wrap. I think a wrap would do better for me because I'm petite. Um, and so, yeah. I'm going to go and I'll come back to you guys when I'm doing something effectively or actively, whatever the case may be. Hey guys, so um, I just saw the phone with my son. My phone is actually getting ready to die. It's on 19%, so I wanted to make this clip really quick before we flash to the next day. But I did get the laundry together. This little bit of clothes actually goes into a bin that I just don't have any more energy to get to. And so these are like pajamas for my son that have to go in the bin. Um, I did finally hang up my other bags. Over there is just stuff, like that diaper bag goes to baby girl's dad's house and then that pink robe goes inside the bag there's some things i'm just not gonna wash here one because i'm by myself so um i can't do everything uh meaning like i can't take it by myself even though my mom is driving me tomorrow i don't want to try to force everything when we still also have to have things at his house for baby girl um and so yeah i have packed some stuff in the diaper bag for his place um, there's also this, I took one out and then I left one in here. So this is going to go over to his house along with a wipe warmer, bottle warmer. We have two bottle warmers and I'm keeping the pink one. <laughs> um, and the other one is there. Now, as far as bottle feeding, I'm not really going to do a lot of that, but I will pump sometimes so that her dad can, um, help me like at night and stuff while I'm sleeping, trying to catch up on sleep. He can help feeding the baby. Um, whew. I have a bag with her towels, blankets, and sheets already in the living room. This is her laundry bag. And this is just newborn all the way to six months in here. And I know people usually separate lights and darks, whites. I don't do that. I literally just do my colors and my whites. Um, I've never had an issue with that. Hopefully, baby girl's clothes don't get messed up. But um, I have all her whites in here. So all the white clothes are in here. So I'm just going to stick it inside of this. That's a, I mean, it's laundry bag. I have her newborn photo um, dress in here. Because I want to wash it. But I don't want it to get messed up. And it's just so cute. Someone did order me a white one, but it never came. And so I put this one on my registry. Um, and it's just so stinking cute. So I do want to clean it. And it did come with the bow. I don't want to wash the bow because of the pearl. So we just have that in this own little bag. Just want to make sure everything I put on her is clean. Um, I don't know who that is, so I'm not answering it. Scam likely popped up as, so I'm not answering that. So that's in here. Um, ooh, make sure that's tucked away nicely. What else is over here? This. These are bibs, burnt cloths, and washcloths, I think. Yeah, all her bibs, burnt cloths, washcloths are in here. And then I have one with all of her hats. Because I don't want them to get sucked into the washing machine, which is why I do that. Um, I do the white separately, only because I can easily just take that with me to the laundromat, dump it in a small washer, call it a day. All the rest of the stuff is just going to go onto one medium size it should be i should be able to get away with medium size because she's just a baby um and then i have one with 
all of her headbands i do want to wash her headbands um we need to just make sure those are clean there are more headbands i just have to figure out where in the world i'll put them because i don't know <laughs> so i have to find where to have headbands and then i have one with all of her socks and i put her socks in here so that i could separate them and so again that they don't get lost because y'all know that the machines be eating them socks so i need to i gotta grab scissors oh and i have one with her mittens as well so her mittens don't get eaten up i probably don't need all these separate ones but this this is just how i'm doing it okay my son didn't have a lot of clothes because obviously boys there's not much you can shop for when it comes to them um I'm probably going to put those bags in a separate bag. So give me one second to get my scissors so that I can cut these socks off, separate them, and then I have to also do these. Some of these I will not be keeping, so I'm going to split this plait between me and her dad's house and fold up the ones I'm not going to keep to put in the bag. So let me go get some scissors real quick. Okay. So I tried to get that bag. I forgot that bag it has some postpartum stuff in it for me um, that I was given, so I can't use that bag. It's whatever. Um, and I did find her jackets because she has some jackets that she was given. Um, but I need to wash them. So, she has this one. What size is it? 6 to 12 months. I'm not going to wash this right now. This is 6 to 12. I'm not going to clean it right now. Um, I'm only going to clean the one she can, like, wear immediately. So. I'm just trying to see size is this this is one to three months she can wear that you gotta wash that this is six to twelve so i don't have to really clean this right now this and that purple jacket can go back in here and i, I do have a second load to do with the nine six plus so six to nine months on um, clothing so i'll wash those when need be this is zero to three. She can wear this out. Take this tag off. But zero to three months. And then what's this one? I like this one because it's reversible. Problem is, I just don't know what size it is. No idea what size this jacket is. But I'm assuming somewhere between three to six months so I'm gonna wash it all right so we have some socks in this box my nails are really messed up and brittle I don't even care at this point And all the socks look like this, just different colors with the lace on them. So, they're just going to go into the sock bag. The whites will go into the white sock, into the white laundry. So, we're just going to do that really quick. It's not really white, but I'm still going to consider it white because it's cream. Okay. And then these go in here, right? I really needed that other bag, but it's fine. My hair is all over the place right now. <laughs> it's fine, though. It's fine. And then I need to find the rest of her other things. These are her hats, right? Okay, I'm going to have to get a bag to take with me, like a big tote bag or something to take with me. I know I have the scissors. Well, I'll put them on. Oh. So yeah, that's basically what I've done today. Not everything. I didn't get a chance to do bottles like I wanted. Oh my god. But that is alright. I can always do bottles down the line. I want to try to get as much as I can before my doctor's appointment. Oh, here we go. Okay, so these are light pink socks. So we are going to see. I'm just splitting them up right now. Okay. So, no, not that. We want the sock bag. 
I'm gonna keep two light pink ones and the other ones will go to her dad. And then we have these ones which are more like a muted pink. I'm gonna take three of these and take two over to him. So I'm just gonna roll up her socks so that it goes into the bag properly. And the plan is to go to his house next week. I, it's a lot that I need to really do in my room this week. And then go over to his house next week so we can get that stuff situated and washed and cleaned. Um, so. Y'all, I'm so beat. So, and then when I put these things in the socks, some of the socks come loose, which I don't like. Like, I really don't. It's a bothersome situation. So, I'm only going to take two pairs of these dark pink ones, and then the other three pairs can go to Kazani's house. What in the world? Let me just do it this way. these things man I really do two and then three all right and then these two go in here and then these are white socks see okay I'm only gonna take two pairs because I have a bunch of pairs already and then the other three will go to her dad's it's not me right did they literally give me an extra sock so there's an extra sock in this which makes no sense but um making sure I have two socks rolled up yes two three four oh and then this is five. Yeah, so there's just an extra sock in here. That's retarded. But not my problem. <laughs> so, laundry is officially sorted through, thankfully. And all I gotta do now tomorrow is go wash the laundry. I have the detergent and whatever extra detergent I have will go to Bay's house next week. Oh, I gotta get this cover off the body. And I need to take the covers off of her laundry. That's pretty much it. That's all I really have to do. So, um, that's going to be the end of day one. And we're going to move on to day two. Because I'm not sure how long these are going to take for me to do. This nesting vlog. Um, you're also going to be seeing me set up her bed and all that good stuff. So, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm back home. It's 1028. I went to the laundry at 7 a.m. Well, I got there 7 30. I am just now getting home. Did make a pit stop though to get some um Duncan just because I'm I'm hungry, she's hungry. I don't feel like cooking and I probably shouldn't have got this because it's now making me queasy. Just the thought of it, but I got a vanilla donut, butter pecan, frozen coffee, and then I got avocado with toast. Avocado on toast with bacon. Um, and I eat the avocado because it does help with migraines. I haven't had as many bad migraines this pregnancy. Um, thankfully, I just don't like that they didn't break my bacon up. They literally just slapped the bacon on there, so. Um, I'm going to flip my room. Not really flip it, but I'm going to move my dresser, my son's dresser over. 
washing then move the bins over and I actually think this space is big enough I'm gonna order a 10 drawer dresser to um put her stuff in and then these other bins I can store the stuff that's in the closet in those bins to keep the closet organized um babe is probably gonna also take two or three bins I mean dra drawers out the dresser because he does he will have stuff here I will have stuff over there um once we're married we will we'll be living together we're going to be getting a house however it is not going to be done to either the end of the year <laughs> or next year and so that process is taking a bit and so the situation we have right now we're blessed to have the situation we have um but it is also like we want our own <laughs> at the same time right and so we're very grateful to both of our parents um both of our moms for what they are doing and so yeah i'll have stuff over there i already have some stuff at his house he has some stuff here already because we do intend to be together um once we're married and with his job um hopefully they can relocate him to manhattan and that will work out better but if not him being in the bronx like right now his schedule is it was originally 3 to 11 30 um but i think tomorrow he starts his new schedule of 7 a.m to 4 p.m um and so you know it's it's gonna be interesting for sure it's definitely gonna be a challenge um and it's not what you would think when you are getting married and things like that but all i can say is that we're very grateful um and as much as i've always complained about being at home with my mom and my siblings i am ever grateful that the help is there especially in this new season i'm entering into as not just a wife but a mom of two now and a girl mom and so i'm grateful for my mom i'm grateful for his mom and both our mom's names are tanya <laughs> so i have two moms that are tanya's um and his mom is a gemini as well um and so yeah it's just it's it's hilarious to me but yeah laundry is all done i'm not gonna put all her clothes up up i'm not gonna put her clothes up until they flip my room around and then i'm probably gonna just fold them up in the bin then i can repack her hospital bag now finally um but i washed her clothes on cold i never really use cold water i use when we use warm um but i did wash her all her clothes on cold so none of the um like dyes and stuff would bleed and then i dried them on medium which took forever i did not want to do high because high would have shrunk some of her clothes and i think when i did eventually switch to high at the end because i was getting irritated with how long i was sitting in that laundromat normally if i get there like seven i'm out of there no later than 9 9 30. um that's because i don't go to the laundromat until i have like big loads of clothes listen i got irritated in that last 30 minutes and i was putting her stuff on high and i think i like shrunk some of her mint <laughs> unfortunately and so yeah and then i need to figure out the bed situation because i have to fit my son's bed and her bed and so there is a plan for that however it should work it should work the plan should work but if it doesn't work then the issue is i have to flip my bed back the way i originally had it <laughs> and do it that way so yeah but right now i'm just gonna chill and take this hat off my head i'm gonna chill right now i have to make a big order from amazon she did get some money from the baby shower so i'm gonna use her baby shower money um because it's stuff for her it's like what if you need oh, it's, oh jesus my lord my hair needs to get done. I don't know when I'm going to get it done, but it is what it is. Um, Amazon, let's go. I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to order because stuff is needed. So I have 22 things in my cart. I think all of these are for her. So I have the pacifier holder case. It's a four set, um, four clear, four set of clear pacifier holders because I'm going to keep two here and two at her dad's. Um, I have a mini like gift set from honest of like the shampoo lotion and i think a diaper rash cream just because i, I want to keep mini ones but what i think i also want to do is get like little containers just because i can just store like her soaps and stuff in there so that's like i'm debating on that right now a mini aquaphor 
because I have A and D ointment. But again, if I go and get the mini set from Honest, or if I do the um the little containers, like go to Dollar Tree and get like little containers or something like that, then I don't have to worry about that. Um, I have two baby grooming kits so that she have one here, one over there. Because as of right now, all she has is a nasal aspirator, I think a thermometer, and something else. But she doesn't have like combs, brushes, and all that stuff. And I want ear pickers and things like that. So I'm going to be getting two of those one for here, one for her dad. Um, I want to get the wet dry bags. So basically, when she does have like explosions and stuff, like not bad explosions, but like when she wets herself, I don't have to stick it in the bag. I can stick it in that wet dry bag and store that separately um because you, you know mishap happens um and also for my pump parts because i'm not going to always want to carry the separate pump bag that i have so we have that i have the munchkin arm and hammer arm and hammer diaper bag dispensers with the little baggies um because as much as i want to get a diaper genie i don't know if i want to <laughs> Like, I'm not going to go out and buy the diaper genie. If someone gets it, then fine, because I've had a diaper genie with my son. But I feel like if I just get those little disposable, like, bags or even doggy bags, that'll work and just throw it in the garbage. I don't know. I'm, I'm up in the air about it. But I definitely have that just for, like, on the go. If I'm out and stuff and she poops, I don't want people smelling it. I didn't like that with my son, so I, I use those with him. I have the bottle pacifier wipes. I have the breast pump wipes from Dapple. Um uh hair and brush comb set the clips for her pacifiers i'm getting disposable changing pads liners because she does so her bassinet comes her bassinet and her playpen both come with um a changing pad area however i think the one on the bassinet is cloth and i don't want no issues with it so i figured if i get the disposable liners i can always have that one there so when i'm changing her if she pees or poops like it's easier to know when a boy is going to pee than girl because you can't see anything sticking up it's so yeah, we have that and then i have four different sets of um baby dove stuff so i have the body wash that comes in a three pack i have the nighttime wash that comes in a three pack and then i have the nighttime lotion that comes in a two pack and then the lotion for the regular one in a three pack two of the headband hair bow holders because girl got over like 40 headbands so and I have bought a lot of like bowls and stuff like clipping bowls and so I think I want to store those up but I'm not sure if I want to do that either like I could literally just put it in this big old gift box she has but then it's a matter of like where to store the gift box so but if I get a dresser I can stick it on top like it's like things are making sense um then I have the door hanger organizer that has is this the wrong one no okay it's the right one um the door hanger one two three four five okay the door hanger organizer that comes with five large pockets and then three small p b c pockets so it looks like this and then i can like organize like diapers wipes and stuff on there because we have boxes in the living room right now and i want to bring that into the room um so i can do that and then what else was there i think it was a cart yes i'm gonna get this four tier rolling cart um that comes with the drawer because usually we see three tiers but i want to get the four tier one because i want the top one to have like my pump and stuff and my snacks and stuff like that i want the second one to have more of her like essentials that she's gonna need and then i want to keep like swaddles and stuff that way when she's in the bassinet i don't have to get out the bed to always grab stuff that's still like something i'm debating because it really just depends on this dresser this is the one i was looking at they have another one too okay i want to get one of these i just need to know so i want to get one of these right either this one because this one has more than 10 it has 11 drawers i think eight nine, 10, yeah, 11 which would make more sense it is basically 40 inches wide so i gotta measure this area because what i'm thinking with it what i'm thinking right is babe can take the bottom four baby girl takes the top four and then i'll take the top three and then 
my son will have the entire dresser because I do have one the top dresser the top drawer to the dresser for my like undergarments and stuff like that and so if I do that then I can organize baby girl stuff easier um and then Bay will also have somewhere to store his stuff so it is how much $85.99 the white one is $96 the light gray which is probably what I would get to match my bed is $90 is light gray and white so because I'm thinking I can store my undergarments and probably like two of these here and my socks here so that my son because we share the top the top drawer we share because it's just socks in there but my son has a lot of socks I don't really have a lot of socks so I don't wear that many socks um and so that's what I'm thinking that's what I'm thinking and then there will technically only be like one bin because I have pajamas in there but that could go we can figure that out we can figure that out so I don't know it's a lot to still get done I keep forgetting Amazon got this view in your room access thing um, I'll figure it out but right now i'm chilling i'm not putting the clothes up no time soon um so yeah i'm gonna measure this area once they slip flop flip everything around because my tv is on this dresser and so I, it's some things i really don't have to get um and i'm probably gonna take them both and these out because i can just stick them in this container here like i have gift boxes everywhere like nice gift boxes i got a pink one on the floor over here I got this one over here, and I could literally store all her bows in there. And then I can go to Dollar Tree and get, like, little containers. So, that's what I might do. Because I really don't want to spend that much money. I really don't. I really don't. Like, I have the money. I don't want to spend the money, you know? Yeah, that one is eight drawers. And they have a 10 drawer one, but this one is 11. Right? Yeah, this is 11. And I want the light gray and white, which is $90. And I think Babe said he would get it, but... I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna go eat my breakfast, relax, watch anime. And I'll come back to you guys when I decide to probably wash her bottles. Because she has a ton of bottles. Not a lot, because like I said, I don't plan to do a lot of breast, um, a lot of bottle feeding. I plan to do a lot of breastfeeding, but at certain times of the night, I will put the breast milk in a bottle so that he can feed her, because I will not be doing it by myself. And so my son could get that time to spend with his, like, his sister and stuff like that. And so I don't really want to heavily introduce bottles yet to her, but I know I'm going to need that sleep within the first month. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, that's it so i'm gonna go and come back to you guys when i figure out what's the next move hey guys so it is currently 2 36 tuesday still and um i did start soaking her bottles she has some regular dr browns and i think a nook bottle in there that i'm soaking right now and then i'm going to go wash those in a second um and then I'm gonna put that up to dry. I did set up the what you call this thing, Munchkins um, bottle drying rack. So I have her bottles and pacifiers in there. I did not do her clothes as of yet because I did find a dresser. It'll be here Thursday, and so I don't want to fold her clothes up now to then have to refold them again in the dresser. But we'll see how I'm feeling. Unfortunately, um, it's coming Thursday, and if it doesn't come before 4.30, I'm going to have to build it myself. <laughs> because my one of my brothers and my mom is going to church, because the anniversary starts for my church on Wednesday. So it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Sunday. And then Thursday, my other brother has rehearsal. So. 
sorry about that i just got yelled at to eat but um yeah i just ordered a 12 drawer dresser um and it's a combination of i think metal or wood and fabric and it was on amazon so i just i just ordered it so i'll probably have to put it together myself which is fine it comes with eight medium size like drawers and then it comes with four small top drawers so the four probably three of those drawers at the top i'm gonna take for myself to separate my undergarments and put my socks in and then four will be for the baby girl and four will be for her dad um and then that last small one will also be for her so i'll probably put her socks and mittens in there um and then i'll get some containers and stuff probably to organize a little bit more inside the drawers but what i'm thinking what i'm thinking in my head what i'm thinking right one drawer will be her newborn zero to three months then we'll do her three to six and then we'll have the bottom two drawers for her that will include her blankets and sheets in one and then her towels and washcloths and burp cloths and bibs in another that's what i'm thinking right because the bowls i was gonna do the whole hanging up the bowl thing yeah i'm not she got a beautiful big box that she was gifted um that had came from the baby shower and i'm gonna literally just take all of her bowls and stuff in there and probably get some containers to put like her hair clips and then her scrunchies inside of um and sit that on top of the dresser because like we just need to maximize space um so yeah i'm gonna go actually clean those bottles now and i need to sterilize them i don't feel like sterilizing them but i need to so i'm gonna do that uh so let's just go to the kitchen and clean some bottles oh in order to do that i do need to um take out the brush now i have like three bottle brush cleaners i'm taking one two bays because i don't need that many um uh, we got gifted two i think if i have four i'll take two to his house but one is already in this box so she got the dr brown's is it dr brown's yeah the um anti-colic bottles in pink um and then she has some clear ones i'm soaking right now with the pacifiers her pacifiers are from nook and dr brown's and then she has one ma'am one and and then a, like a random one and so just wanna just wanna start you know feeling like i'm doing things though i can't do much but at least start and i'll know either today or tomorrow when we'll have our little ceremony oh so cute that comes with a little sippy cup i'm not gonna clean that right now it comes with three of the eight ounces and then three of the four ounces here is the bottle cleaner so this is what i needed so these all will be oh and it comes with a teether so i'm probably going to sanitize everything so i can just throw it away but um, i'm gonna go so let's go to the kitchen next Hey guys, um, you can do it. It's still Tuesday. Be sure that I put the bottles up. Um, and so I have another round of bottles to do. Let me just grab this. Whew. So I have another round of bottles to do tomorrow. 
I'm not gonna do them today because I don't want to clash with cleaning bottles with family eating and stuff like that. So I have another round to do. What's on my thing? Okay, sorry. I have another round. They're just again the Dr. Brown bottles. Those are the bottles that she basically has. She has a few Tommy Tippy, one ma'am, but most of her bottles are Dr. Brown's. Um, and so I have three of the eight ounces and then three of the small four ounces in here. Um, along with the teether that came with the set. So I'm going to clean these tomorrow. But I'm also going to clean my breast pumps. So I have the Zomi Z2 Double Electric Breast Pump. But I'm not going to clean this until tomorrow night. Because the bottle rack only holds 8 bottles. And I have 6 in here which is going to work out. Because I have this breast pump which I also got. Both of these I got through insurance. And I have another one coming. Um, but I got the Lantino Discreet Duo Wearable Pump. Um, and so I'm going to start taking this one apart as well. So that it can, you know, be sanitized and all that stuff. So it looks like this. Oh, before I get into that, I was gifted a little set from one of you ladies. Um, and... I love it so basically <laughs> she ordered a set that I already had and I told her it was fine because she got this set in a newborn and baby girl is only four pounds she's not gonna be bigger than like six or five her dad was five five my son was six point zero one I was a preemie so we already know I was under five pounds um, so we don't expect her to be big and so we know she's gonna be a newborn because my son wore newborn clothes for a while and so this set comes with two short sleeve and two long sleeves and I showed it in the haul which you'll see I, I haven't posted it by, by the time you see this video it'll be up but I haven't posted it yet but one says little sister short sleeve the other one is hearts and whites this one has a cute little toe and it comes with like the mittens on it so you just fold it over and then this floral one and then it comes with two bottoms, the polka dot blue ones and then the pink. And so you literally could like, I could pair this outfit together. Obviously this little sister one goes, so like I love it. But the crazy thing is I just did laundry. <laughs> so I'm probably going to have one more small load of laundry to do before she gets here. But we'll see. But um, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you to her. I've already spoken to her so she knows. <laughs> um, but yes the pump so i wanted a wearable pump and I, I know people always talk about the mom cozy or the willow your girl it was not trying to spend that kind of money and even with my insurance it wasn't covering the full amount so i still would have had to come out of pocket so this one was free and the other one was free and i get the Medella pumping style from my insurance themselves like they send out pumps and so um yeah we have the lantano electric double pump and um i'm excited i love the silicone this is a 24 millimeter flange on it and so literally i'm just going to take it apart so that's one that's the flange is one piece um the duck bill is a second piece i'm gonna have to take off this which is the motor we don't want to mess that up and then take out the suction i think that's it right because the cup stays together and this cup holds up to six ounces um, of milk and so I'm just going to drop these inside of the bowl because what I do is soak I was about to throw the dab on motor in here <laughs> but um that's what it looks like you pump it on and then I guess you you pick your mode so this I don't even know how to do it but you pick your mode it changes And this goes up. This is to go down. And so yeah, I I can't wait to try it out myself. I hear mixed reviews about it, but same thing with this one. I'm just gonna pop the motor off. Um, and so it's one piece here, two piece. That'll go quick. And then three, four. 
so it's not a lot of places most breast um wearable breast pumps have about four to five um this also comes with inserts that i believe are 21 millimeter yeah they're 21 millimeter flanges and so you can actually just insert it into the middle you basically insert it in i'm trying to do it without breaking another nail i don't broke this nail like twice i'm over it but you insert it in and so that it's a smaller flange um i'm not sure if i'm gonna need it but i'm gonna wash it just in case i do i love that it comes in a case so i'm probably gonna wash the case like why not everything gets washed everything gets washed and then in here is just some brockets um however i don't i was gonna get maternity bras at first but i didn't get none with my son and i don't really feel the need to get maternity bras um at all it comes with two usb cords two of them you guys can see two and then two um bra clip extenders but i don't i didn't use maternity bras on my son and i feel like maternity bras for me are a waste of time um, when I could just buy a sports bra. So I'm just going to buy sports bras and call it a day. Because that's just what I do. I wear a bra. I wear a sports bra. Maternity bras. I'm not about to waste my money. And then when I do try to find one. They never have them in my size honestly. So. I'm going to put the motors back inside. The box. Because I don't need it. Um, so in the morning. I'm going to soak these. Um, and wash them and then sterilize them and then in the towards the afternoon I can do the zone Z2 which I can show you guys what that looks like they do have collection cups if you want to make this a wearable pump rather than um get my scissors rather than sitting there with it because these are the ones you do have to sit with um or you can put on a pumping bra uh, again I'm, I'm not doing all that honestly i might just make a pumping bra by buying a regular sports bra that's a little extra tight and cutting the slits in it that's just me um <laughs> but i did open it previously but it comes with the little cup holders which i'm gonna have to clean which is why i'm doing a separate thing it comes with the bottle extenders the bottle caps extra ductures which i'm gonna clean those this is the motor in here and then the plug to charge it and then the bottles the nipples the cup holders the flanges it comes with 24 and 21 millimeter so that all has to be cleaned and here is what the motor looks like it's super cute i wish it was a clip on here there's no clip unfortunately so it's one you would have to like hold in your hand um the charger port is here but it looks like that it does have a night light which i love I'm trying to get it to turn on okay let's light is on if you can see on the side it's off on so now you can go from different modes let me just show you guys you can see here it'll change modes as I click it so it's three modes one two three um and obviously you go up go down you can pause which i do like you can pause it um battery is obviously low so i'm definitely going to charge all of these before i before you know i use them the plan is i have an appointment on thursday i want to get to see if they'll give me an induction date hopefully they will um if not the next appointment they will and then the plan is to actually like if the induction late if the induction date is literally for 39 weeks i can't i'm going to try to jump start my labor um basically just doing all the things walking um curb curb walking is what they call it going up and down the steps squats um pineapple juice i think they said 
and raspberry leaf tea and all that stuff to jumpstart labor because she gotta come. Like I'm getting antsy. I miss I like I wanted to see her already. And so that's that. So tomorrow I'll come back on when I get ready to clean these things and then I'll close out the vlog and then I think I'll start up the vlog on Thursday. So this vlog will go from Monday to, to Wednesday. I'll end it Wednesday and then I'll start back up on Thursday because by then I should have a dresser. I should have her clothes organized so then I can do that type of thing. So it'll probably be a three part nesting vlog where this one is literally me just doing laundry, cleaning bottles and pump parts. Um, the second one will be my doctor's appointment, um, setting up the dresser, putting her clothes away. And then the third one will probably be me setting up her bed and doing the hospital bed. I already know what I want to take to the hospital for her to wear. <laughs> um, I just have to repack the bags and take all the clothes out. So, that is a plan. That is a plan. So, I'm going to go and I'll chat with you all tomorrow. Hey guys, it's 1.59 Wednesday. Um, I literally woke up at like 12, 30, 40 something. I just slept. Um, it was a crazy night last night, and so I just needed to rest. Um, but I got myself to get the lotion moisturized. I didn't comb my hair, just took it down. I could care less about my hair at this point. Um, <sighs> I've been craving acid, but late start i need to take all my pills again i'm taking prenatals iron and vitamin c this now broke off this now broke off this one is in the process of getting ready to break so and these are the let me grab it these are the ones oh right here the salon color nails from kiss i don't like these they're very brittle not brittle but very like bendable and soft and so they snap easily but i like the color i wanted to rock it so i already fixed this one twice it broke twice yesterday um, i'm gonna fix it again i'm gonna take this one off because it's literally like it, it just is, is breaking off um i'm gonna fix these three nails and when they break off again i already have a set that i want to wear um but yeah um I'm gonna go get those bottles, put them up. I don't have an organizer right now for them, so I'm just gonna throw them in the tub. And then I'm gonna soak these bottles, the Dr. Brown's pink ones, in my pump. And then um, my my Lancelot pump, I'm gonna do that. And then once I clean and sanitize those, I'll sanitize my Zomi set as well. Um, and then everything will go into my pumping bag, which I do have a pumping bag over there. Um, and the dresser will be here tomorrow at one point it said tonight then it said tomorrow so by tomorrow not being able to be here um so i don't know if i want to fold her clothes up now because i got the laundry in here or just i just want to wait because while i'm folding clothes i'm also going to put some to the side to take to her dad's house um and so yeah now, and I, I just have a craving right now to study my bible i haven't studied in a long time like inten like i've studied but intentionally i haven't gotten back in since i finished joel um i'm reading right now still through elijah but um so much to do so little time but i'm gonna go do that now and i'll come back to you guys when i um finish
Hey guys, so I'm finna wrap up this first pause of the nesting vlog. It is Wednesday, 8.33 p.m. Um, I have my doctor's appointment tomorrow, so I'm gonna start that as a new vlog. I know I was supposed to have a vlog up today, <laughs> um, which was the baby shower part two of us opening gifts. I have a lot of videos to edit. I've just been out of it. I've been wearing the same nightgown for a couple nights. I've showered, of course, but my hair looks crazy. I just don't care. So what I'm getting ready to do is go grab those bottles that I did earlier, put them together, put them up and then sanitize and wash another pump and i literally just got another breast pump <laughs> that's wearable um so i'm gonna have two wearable breast pumps here and then i'm gonna have two regular like plug-in ones not plug-in ones but ones you have to hold um and it's the free me one of the the, the free me rose slim cut pump i have that coming tomorrow or friday and so i'm gonna have to clean that as well but it's okay. Um, I was gonna wash, um, fold up baby girl laundry because it's still in my room on the floor somewhere. Not somewhere, but like the bag is right here. It's two bags and a bag up here. But I'm gonna wait till tomorrow because the dresser is coming tomorrow. What time? I don't know, but it's coming tomorrow. So I'm gonna have to put the dresser together myself, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I probably shouldn't be doing that, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put the dresser together and everything. I'm currently watching my church's anniversary because it started tonight. Um, and my bro, Pastor Troy, is preaching tonight. And I wanted to be there for the first night and the ending, which is on Sunday. But I've been having too many backs and hips contractions a lot more frequently, especially during the day. Um, and, yeah, we just rather not play with it. Um, and so I still have two weeks to go until I'm, like, full term at 37 weeks. So, yeah. I'm going to go do that and um, take you guys with me. All right, guys. So I'm on the phone with my son. Um, I'm on the phone with him. I have five minutes to go while that's boiling. Um, cause I leave it in there for five to seven minutes, depending. <laughs> Let me turn my son down. Um, so yeah, and I just finished gaming for a bit. Disney Dream Live Valley since they have that latest update. Um, oh, I have an update for another game. Uh, the game is updating. We love that. But um. No, I'm just going to relax. Um, I'm going to make me a quick espresso. And I'm honestly just going to chill tonight and get into reading my Bible. I have my Bibles over here. Um, yeah, oof. And so, I'm going to watch the service, do a little Bible study for myself, read a bit, and then um, that's it. So, that's it for uh, Nesting Vlog Part 1. Y'all know I try to be aesthetic but um the aesthetic vlogs is just not for me to make them um i love watching them but i cannot make them for the life of me and i i would love to one day make an aesthetic vlog but i like to keep it 
real quick and easy and i know aesthetic vlogs take some time to create and i don't have that kind of time so i'll be restarting a new video tomorrow which will be nesting vlog part two which is legit me um putting together the dresser putting up her clothes um probably putting her dad's clothes up too organizing the room and things like that um i still have to make that order on amazon what else i'm going to Bay's house next week to start organizing things over there and getting her stuff together over there which is why i need to fold up stuff because i think she has a lot like we can easily buy blankets over there but i have so many blankets and sheets here that it's like i can just put it between the two and then as needed we can just purchase on each side of our um homes um especially since we'll be back and forth between the two um so it's just easier that way for now uh yeah so that's it for this video if you made it to the end of part one post up this cute heart with the bow because i just love that um and i'll see you guys for part two of my nesting vlog